Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, part 21. Um, we're doing a mission with Jose. You done good, girl. Or, no, not with Jose, with Javier. That's for the... Or, well, we'll do that later this episode. But we are working with... Um, okay, we have a bunch of missions that we can do. Right now, we are going to do the mission with John Marston and Javier. And then we're also going to do the one with Jose, and then the next episode we'll do any other missions following with the one from Dutch about the bounty hunters. Um, yeah. So for now, we're just going to yeah. take it slowly. And just do this mission with the Greys that, um, with John Marston. I think it's the protagonist of Red Dead Redemption, the first one. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Uh, I didn't expect that, uh, this game was gonna be called Red Dead Redemption 2, you know? You had Revolver Redemption, I didn't think this was gonna be 2. I just thought this was gonna be, like, some other name. you there? Sure. Right. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horse. Sorry, I'm gonna remove this marker really quickly. This is a fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Don't they know me? Because I've been in here before. I did the whole, like, uh, romance mission with, between the two, uh, from both gangs, and I was just, like, delivering messages between both of them. Um, so they should know who I am, and that I'm a deputy. Good men. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. Who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Alright. Yeah. We're gonna steal horses worth $5,000 each, or 5000 altogether, I can't remember. It would be easy if it was all together for five, but it'd be a lot more better if it was for each. Um, and then we're getting half of it, I'm pretty sure, so, yeah. Coming past. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. 
We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Mr. Marston. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Passing you. Okay. I was hoping I could say something to him, but no. But the detailing in this game is, like, really incredible. So, yeah. I'm excited. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. What are these? All right, let's hitch up here. I thought uh, there was more space to Let me do that do talking. in between. It makes sense what there wasn't. Just gonna approach slowly. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. A <gasps> hot uh -huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Whoa, easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. <laughs>
Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! 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 I said stop these things! Good. Let's get these horses to Clemens Cove. Quick, before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Come on now. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. 
I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Need the cap to get a bigger share. Not a bigger share, but I, I just think that they need some more money, so I'm gonna donate some. Do you have any items? Well, I can definitely give that. And then I'm gonna contribute some money. Uh, just like a hundred. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into the ledger. Well, I've lost some honor, but we're Arthur? gonna do this Dutch Arthur. mission right now. Arthur. Actually, what well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? <coughs> of course, I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So, so. I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles? I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Back out there, girl. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not! He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Oh gosh, I remember uh, I accidentally, um, in order to turn in my gold, I accidentally like had my horse run over a guy and a dog and it, the whole city was afraid of me, so I don't know. Someone got here first. For that. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here. Where is he? Mm. Let's take a look around. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. Come on, before they get too far ahead. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. down the path here As back in these days all right I guess mm. well lead the way then not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in no normally scams himself into the best hotel in town you know when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come here. Oh. oh. Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. 
Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. I'm not letting this guy All right. go. That should do it. I'm taking his money too. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward. Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I, I think mean, Trelawney's the guy in the suit. How we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? <coughs> he somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. I don't know where my hat went. I think it got taken off when I went to go punch the dude. And we we're picking up the body hunters. I think. I'm not really sure. That must be it. Is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Look at the birds. Go that way. Wait, we do? There's three of them? Over there, where the birds are.
see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Oh, behind me. He's mine. Let me take him. And get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Okay, I'm trash. <laughs> for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who <laughs> was they? <laughs> they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course... They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunter. Pinkerton's lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. I really like the diaries. Well, next episode, we will do these two missions. Uh, Trelawney and... Uh, Hosea, that is what we will do next. In the meantime, or, well, I'll just see you guys next time in part 22. And see ya.